The Rako brand is part of the Austrian Lasselsberger Group. The group has three main divisions for production of ceramic tiles, building materials, and raw materials. Our Czech operations produce 28 million square meters of ceramic tiles a year. Out of this, 30% remains on the Czech market, while we export 70% to over 90 countries worldwide. I've been running Lasselsberger's logistics for 15 full years. That means warehousing plus distribution from five sites. Our logistics also include production planning and transportation. We're here in Klumchani, where we built a modern distribution center in 2017. This is one of our two centers in the Czech Republic. Actual ceramic tile production also takes place here on site. Specifically in Klumchani, we produce sintered tiles, which are then shipped from here to every continent. Tile production has its specifics, which our logistics team must be able to handle. We work with a variety of product formats, batches, quality levels, and resulting special rules for work with them. Our production technology doesn't let us quickly switch materials on the line, so we have to work with quite large warehouse stocks for four to five months of sales. That's a big logistics challenge. This site is where we store 110,000 pallets, each weighing one ton, which go on from here to all our distribution channels from Rako CZ eShop packages to shipping containers. Most of the volume is transported via lorry throughout Europe. Our main information system is SAP, and we control logistics in it with help from the Pilsen-based Aimtech. We've worked together for over 10 years, and here in Klumchani, you can see how we've advanced in that time. Automation now leads the way. We want machines to handle most routine tasks so that people can focus on jobs where humans are indispensable. We're constantly striving for more speed, precision and efficiency, and of course savings as well. Our logisticians work starts here, where we turn sorted product units into final packages, which we must be able to differentiate. This is hard here for our type of production, as we can't just know the product type, we also have to know the batch, that is the shade and caliber, plus quality and other information, including the shift. We've thus introduced QR codes, printed on boxes automatically based on production information. The packer recognizes the goods on the pallet. This is automatic, thanks to a camera system that can read boxes' individual QR codes. Based on the scanned data, our solution sends instructions on the packing method and ID information at the full pallet level. The pallet is then marked with a label, with printed information on the precise pallet contents. This sets up a pallet for us in the packing system, which is then used in logistics and our information system. This marked pallet is recorded in the system the product sees automatic quantity and accounting registration, and the pallet leaves automatically for the warehouse over a unique 230-meter conveyor between the two halls. A warehouse operator is waiting there in a forklift truck. They scan the pallet contents label and tell the system what should be done with the pallet. The system tracks the current pallet location and operator's work is managed through logistics parameters. With several distribution channels, we have to prepare packages of all types. We most often prepare full and mixed pallets. For most of our products, customers can order smaller quantities, individual boxes. Unfortunately in ceramics, we're not talking small and light material. These products span up to 120 by 60 centimeters and weigh around 30 kilos a box. We then produce mixed pallets from multiple product types, sizes, weights and fragility levels. Our warehouse and handling gear must be adapted to this. We store our stock of full pallets in the upper levels of the rack warehouse, served by semi-automatic V&A trucks. The warehouse's lower section stores products that we've readied for later picking of mixed pallets. This storage method lets us utilize warehouse slots far more efficiently. We store full pallets in the bulk storage area as well. 
Their placement is managed based on product turnover and customer preferences, as seen in orders for full or mixed pallets. The physical preparation of delivery notes is also managed using our solution. It judges each position's load automatically, and so the subsequent shipping process runs smoothly. We ship 1,400 pallets a day and dispatch over 100 trucks from here in Klumchani, and we store 110,000 pallets. By deciding to unload certain routine tasks onto machines, we've increased logistics speed and precision. For full pallets by about a third, and for manual picking even more by over one half. And this definitely wasn't at the cost of quality, as we've reduced customer complaints by 50%. Thanks to cooperation with Aimtech, we've increased our storage capacity by 40% while reducing costs by 25%. We're currently testing and will later start preparing other automation projects that harness new technologies. And that means more chances to shift people onto work with greater added value. But we've already done something big. We've interlinked the entire flow from production to our customers, 